Um, I think we got a really good little webinar on Facebook. You know, it's funny. I, I talk to agents all the time, pretty much every day. And, um, you know, I, I think specifically about Facebook and social media, I find that we're now at like a tipping point where I remember back in 2007, 2008, maybe 2009, I would still have people kind of calling me up trying to fight with me, trying to say, like, look, you know, social media is garbage. It, it's dead. It's not going to work. It's going to blow up in a year, whatever. There would always kind of be some sort of opinion trying to be pushed down, you know, after these webinars. And, you know, the, the opinion I've always tried to give is, is look, I, I personally don't like social media myself. And I try to, you know, I'm kind of a private person. I try to keep things as private as possible. But, you know, as an entrepreneur, as a business salesperson, you know, you can't hide the facts that a huge percentage of people in the country really are paying attention to Facebook. And they're on it, you know, who knows how much. They're on it, let's say, daily, if not hourly. So regardless if we like it, regardless how we feel about it, regardless if we like Mark Zuckerberg, to me it's all irrelevant. What is relevant is, is it's a place to get the message out, it's a place to be heard. And let's face it, we're all salesmen, and our goals are very simple. We want to try to get in front of as many people as possible because insurance is not an impulse buy. Nobody just buys insurance like they buy a candy bar at the grocery store. Something has to happen to them that makes them say, okay, I'm out of my comfort zone. I've got to find somebody who knows what they're talking about who can help me you know, so I'm protected. And usually that occurs around what I call a life event. Whether somebody dies, someone has a baby, someone buys a new house, someone buys a new car, usually, you know, someone starts a new business. Insurance is usually based around those life events. And what is Facebook? Facebook is, you know, literally billions of people, you know, on here socializing. So in order to be successful with it, one, you know, the thing I've been trying to really talk about over the last few months is, one, you have to be accountable to educate yourself on how it works. You're not going to be too successful if you have no idea, you know, what success or failure is. So that's kind of step one. And then step two is to be patient and also to be consistent. Those are kind of the, the, the three keys to being successful, education, consistency, and patience. Um, and I think if you do that, then, then you're just kind of playing the percentages. You're playing the numbers. So what I want to do today is just go through a few key setup tips, a few key things you should be doing. And I think moving forward, that's going to lay a good foundation for you to really utilize the tool. Um, you know, and again, on the flip side of that, you know, here's the opposite of that. The opposite of that is you really have no idea what you're doing. But for whatever reason, you, you decide to go into Facebook and you decide to immediately start using their pay-per-click advertising and all that kind of stuff, and you end up really spending a lot of money. Um, you'll see right now, I'm just on my page, boost the post. You know, next thing you know, you could be spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars um, and getting no results. And guess what? That's exactly what Facebook wants. You know, that's why they design all these things. They want to try to take advantage of the impulse people, the people who aren't educated on how it works, not to say that you can't get results from that stuff, but that's hopefully why you're on today's webinar, so you don't make those mistakes and so that you do the, the right things to move forward you know, in an educationalized uh, manner. So the first thing, and this may sound silly, is the first thing I really want everyone to do um, is to really start to work, and what did I shut, okay, is to really start to work on their Facebook personal page. And I may know you, the, the, you may say, well, wait a minute, Ken, we really want to focus on our business, that's what we're at. We don't care about the Facebook personal page, or we want to keep personal, personal, and business, business. My answer to you is, is yes, they stay separate. That's fine. But the personal page is really important to your business page to some extent. Because one of the things Facebook does a really good job at is Facebook does a great job at actually promoting you without you even knowing it. Um, so, you know, kind of like here's an example. When I go uh, to my Facebook personal page, there's actually um, a little button here that says friends, and I'm going to click on that. And then there's another button that says find friends, and I'm going to click on that. So one of the, you know, one of the things where I'm talking about self-promotion is, is when I come in here, 
you know, immediately here's a section that says people you may know, right? And these people are not randomly chosen, okay? These people are put here because Facebook is using the information I have entered into it and coming up with the most likely scenario of people I would want to connect with. So without me rambling on much more, I think my point is, is that you want to set up your profile so it shows up all over the place. So people take a deeper look at you, and then they see where you're working, and then they check out your business page. It's Again, it's just the probability of being found. We want to increase that probability. So that being said, step one is to go to Facebook, click on your name, and then click on the Update Info button. Okay, And in this area, there's a few boxes. Well, there's five boxes I'd like to see you have set up. Okay, So these are the ones I want you to have set up. Put in your current city. Put in where you went to high school. If you went to college or grad school, put that in. Put in your hometown. And please, put in your email and your phone number. I don't want to hear from you that you think someone may, uh, you know, some, you may get a spam phone call. Who cares? Wouldn't you rather get a lead? So put in your business phone number. Um, you would be surprised how many phone calls I get from people just checking, taking a look at my LinkedIn or Facebook page. And those phone calls would not come in if I didn't have my phone number there. So put your email in, put your phone in, it'll be fine. Um, I highly suggest it. So that's kind of step one, is just to go into your profile, make sure these things are complete and they're set up. It's going to actually help you get more fans on your business page. So that's why you'd want to do it. Step two is to work on proactively adding friends. Again, you're probably saying, well, look, I want to add people to my business page. Well, it starts with adding friends. If you can add friends, it's going to give you a pool of people that you can market to to grow the amount of followers for the agency. So this kind of takes me to my little, and you'll see I have here, Facebook philosophy. It takes me to my kind of like my little discussion. And the best way I can put it is, is you know, for your entire life, you've, you know, the definition of friend has been somebody that you trust, you know, someone that maybe you go back a long time with, somebody that, you know, you care about, right? Well, what I'm trying to tell you is, is on social media, forget that definition, okay? The definition of friend on social media equals distribution, okay? If you become friends with somebody, they become part of your distribution. And all that means is, is that when you talk, they have a chance to see what you're saying and read it. So one of the biggest problems I have is a lot of clients will say, look, I don't like, I don't really know that person, or I don't personally really like them, or blah, blah, blah. I get it. I'm the same way. But you're looking at it differently. You're thinking of a friend from the real definition of friend. The definition of friend on social media is distribution. It's like getting another email address. You have to kind of, I know it's heartless to some extent, but that's the way you have to think about it. That's how you're going to be successful. It's about getting as many connections as possible, just like it's about getting as many email addresses as possible, because it allows you to increase your distribution. It allows you to increase your sphere of influence. So what I'm telling you to do next is to go into your profile, click on Friends, which should be under your main picture, and click on the um, Find Friends tab. And again, this is recorded. I know I'm clicking through it quickly. You can go back and watch. And what I want you to do is just try to find people from your past. I call it the history of your life. You know, you would be surprised, and you guys know, I don't have to tell you this, how many referrals have you gotten for your agency from people that, you know, maybe they live around, they're your neighbors, that maybe they went to college with you. I mean, you know, friends, parents of your kids, you know, all that kind of stuff. So what you want to do is, is you want to try to surround yourself on social media with those types of people. So what you may want to do is either go in and click on hometown or current city and just select that and it will immediately pull up you know, people who live in your town um, that are potential uh, friends. And you can go in here and all you have to do is click on the add friend tab and it will send them an invite. Now you don't want to go crazy and do that with everybody. You want to really select people that you legitimately know, uh, because if you do get an, like five or ten rejections from people, 
Facebook's going to flag you as kind of spammy people. So you want to just select people that you do truly know. But that's where you want to start. That's where you want to really start to grow your friend base. The most common question I get is, is, well, how many friends should I have? You should have thousands. Okay? You should have thousands. There's no reason you shouldn't. You know, as a salesman, you must know a lot more people than you realize. We want to get those people on our drip list. Um, so it starts with going in and just finding them, obviously, on Facebook and uh, connecting with them personally. So the next step is where the business page comes in. So now you've actually become friends with these people. You should go into your business page, okay? And the next step is to, and just bear with me for a second here. I think I clicked on the wrong thing. You want to go into your business page, and there's a tab in there. And let me just kind of pull it up. Um, there's a tab in there that's going to allow you to invite all of your friends to become fans of the page. Um, and it's right up here at the top called Build Audience. So if you select that, you can click Invite Friends. And it will then pull up all the people that you're friends with. And it will allow you to, now you'll see that I have a lot of my friends here. It says Invited, right? Or it says Liked. So, and then you'll see Invite. So if I click on Invite next to Trinity, it's going to send her an invite that's going to say, hey, Ken would like you to become a fan of BenefitStore.net. Um, but my point is this. My point is, is you're only allowed to invite people once, okay? So if you go in there and you've already done that, that's fine and that's expected. If you haven't done that, that's a good first step to try to grow your fans, okay? Um, the next step, though, um, is if you've already invited all your friends, then you want to create what I call a system for growing your page. And the best way to come up with a system is to either A, maybe once every month, go onto your personal page and post something like this. Um, and all I'm telling you to do is to promote your business page. So my sample verbiage is, is that you should say, hey, if you get a chance, please visit our new insurance agency Facebook page. Each day we offer free updates, tips, insurance ideas. Just go to Facebook.com, Bob's Insurance, and you know, click the Like button to become a fan. So if I rambled on there, what I was saying is, is once you've already invited all your friends, it's important once in a while to go onto your personal page and to just post a promotional post talking about the agency page. And that will help you, A, get people that you're friends with, but B, you'll be surprised how many of your friends are going to share that post and actually get you some referrals or get you friends of friends to become fans. So that's an integral part of the marketing plan, and this never stops. You should be doing this every three to five weeks. The other thing you can always do is you can do what I call pinpoint connecting. And what does that mean? Well, what that means is, is let's say you're at your desk and you get an email, okay? And it's from, it's, let's say it's from your neighbor, okay? But it's not from your neighbor. It's from your neighbor's friend. And your neighbor's friend says, hey, I know your neighbors with Karen. I know you sell insurance. Um, you know, me and my husband have a husband and wife group, a company, and we really need some key, you know, key man insurance, whatever. Um, you know, is there any way we can set up a free consultation? So, boom, this person emails you. What should you do on social media? Well, you should take that person's email address, and up here in this white bar, you should go in and type in their email address. And I'm just typing in my wife's email address, okay? And I think my point is, is if you type in their email address and they have a Facebook account with it, just click the search thing, it will come up. And you can then immediately connect with them. And uh, I don't know if I typed in her, yeah, I typed in her name wrong. That's always good. But my point is, is when you get someone, there it is. So I typed in her email address, boom, there's her Facebook account. So when you start getting people's email addresses through random interaction, random chatting, you really should go into Facebook and LinkedIn, for that matter, and connect with these people right after they've contacted you. In my opinion, it's a really nice kind of virtual handshake. It's kind of telling them, look, here's my online resume. I have nothing to hide. Hopefully, you'll learn a little bit more about how I can help you. And I'd love to connect with you because I want you as part of my distribution. You know what I'm saying? So that is really how you start to grow the social media. People always ask me, you know, how come you only have 1,400 friends, but somehow on your Facebook business page, you have, you know, t over 2,000 fans? 
it's because there was a system in place, a consistent system, where you're constantly adding people and you're constantly doing that kind of thing. And that's how you get it to the next level. So guys, hopefully this was helpful. Again, I always try to keep these pretty short. I don't want to overload you. Um, but I'm going to put this on YouTube in a few minutes. Um, next week we got a really good webinar on LinkedIn uh, messaging, I believe. Uh, even though it's a short week, we'll still do it. And um, I'll put this on YouTube and have a great weekend. Thanks again. Bye-bye.